Drinking Buddies. I have a very epic bottle haul to share with you. And I got a few suggestions of some newer bottles maybe you haven't heard of uh, that I could suggest you try out. And let's jump right in. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. Well, every bottle haul needs to begin with some hard to find classics. And I got these two on the same day and I was pretty excited about it because E.H. Taylor single barrel has been really hard for me to find in my area. This is only the second one I've ever gotten. Got it at retail. And then this little guy here really surprised me because it's Stag Junior Batch 15, which came out in 2020. Why it's hitting Arizona in 2022 in the middle of the summer, um, literally two years after it came out, I have no idea. But I was very happy to find it and I got it at retail and I thought maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe a few were lost behind, but then I saw a bunch hit Phoenix um, as well. I got this here in Tucson, but I saw a bunch of Bevmos in Phoenix got it. So wasn't an isolated thing. Uh, Stag Junior 15 apparently dropped in June in 2022. So that's a thing that happened. And I'm really excited for this because I didn't have the 15. So I think I'm gonna wait and crack it when I get the 18 and I'll do a flight with the 15, 16, 17, and 18 and see which one's the best. Uh, but yeah, those two I got on one day and then the next day I did my whole waiting in line thing and I got this bad boy. And I'm really excited for this one because this is going to be a Four Roses single barrel barrel proof. It's sitting at, let's see, what is that? 108.4 proof. And it says on the side here, total wine, single barrel selection, March, 2022, 11 years and three months. And it's OESO, 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% barley. I'm really excited for this one, Drinking Buddies. I think this is gonna be an excellent bottle. I'm really into the single uh, barrel Four Roses lately. And that's just the regular one, which sits at 100 proof. So to try one at a higher octane, I'm kind of excited for. But now let's leave the realm of things you've definitely heard of and jump into the realm of things maybe you've heard of. I got this uh, bottle of Frank August bourbon. Um, this is sitting at 100 proof. Um, this is a small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey bottled by Frank August, Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, bottled by, not made by. So it's sourced from somewhere. I had a pour of this, um, I really liked it, so I jumped on buying it because I guess they're flying. I think this might be a bottle where people are really looking for it all summer because it seems to be pretty hot right now. All right, next up, I wanna talk about some Japanese whiskey. Now, this is not a category I've talked about much on the channel. I don't have that much experience with Japanese whiskey beyond having tasted um, Suntory and a few others, but uh, this Caillou, seven-year-old, uh, Mazura, Mazanura Oak finished, um, single barrel sitting at um, 88 proof. I had the several of the Cayo line um, and I really liked this one. Um, so I tasted several of the line. They had a port finish, they had a cask strength, they had a standard offering. Um, and and I, I ended up really liking the single barrel. So that's the one I decided to buy. And you know what? I feel like we're gonna crack it right now and I'll give a full review. Decent pop there. Kayo Japanese whiskey. This is Mazanura oak finished single barrel, 88 proof. And uh, it's got a spicy, spicy nose that if I didn't know better, I might think I was smelling rye, which maybe was one of the reasons why I liked it so much. But the more you smell it, the more you get malt and honey. Malt comes through and kind of takes over. And then you, you realize, oh, okay, I'm smelling a scotch or a Japanese or something like that. It's light and delicate. It's a great summer sipper, but um, the finish is really smoke forward. 
and sweet. It's, it's, the finish is very sweet. This is a whiskey that I can recommend. I really like this one. Like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with Japanese whiskey, but out of the, you know, seven or eight that I've tasted, this has been my favorite. We'll sip on this a little bit more as we go over our last bottle here. Last up, we got this Bone Snapper Straight Rye. This is 108 proof, and this is uh, not a very expensive rye whiskey. Um, it's got a very weird statement on the back. Aged 30 months. Hmm. I saw that and I thought, well, this is gonna suck. And then I had it and I really liked it. I think that this is a really decent, higher proof rye, affordable. Um, it's distilled in Lynch, uh, Lawrenceburg, Indiana, so it's MGP. But then it's bottled by Backbone Bourbon Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. So um, I don't know how they get it to taste so good, only being 30 months old, but hey, most of the commercial ryes available are four years old, so this is just slightly younger, about a year and a year and a half younger. Uh, but yeah, um, it's uh, like $35. Um, but yeah, this is an affordable bottle. I'll put the price point right here, and I recommend it. I liked it for a uh, um, fairly budget rye, uh, you know, with, with craft becoming... With whiskey getting so expensive, I would consider anything under $40 uh, um, budget at this point, unfortunately. Well, drinking buddies, these six bottles were my haul, um, and um, I'm really excited to uh, uh, share them all with you. I definitely think we'll be doing some, some tastings. We're gonna be doing some, uh, some shorts where I just review a whiskey. Um, we're gonna be doing some cocktail stuff coming up. We're gonna be doing some some blinds, uh, a lot of exciting stuff coming out for the channel. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you stayed with me this long, you obviously like me, so hit the subscribe button. And if you hated the video, please share it with your enemies. We'll see you on the next one.